fun part of the bag. This is the long iron side because there's so many different things people are looking for. And also, this is where we got a new club in the mix as well. So I got the 225 long iron and the Mizuno Pro Fly High uh, long iron. So here I want to get you to hit both of these and look at these differences so we can tell what you're looking for. Sweet, start, yeah. We'll start with the HMB replacement, which is the Mizuno Pro 225. It looks like a cleaner looking uh, HMB. And that's it's just it. It is. <laughs> it's smaller than the HMB was. All right, let's see what it got. Nice launch. Really nice height for that, that yeah. type of golf club. So easy to get up in there. All right. Get a couple more. Yeah, please. I always like to see two or three just yeah. to get a good average. Ooh. We got a miss in there. We can compare that. <laughs> That's good though. It's always good to understand on the long iron side because yeah. they're the toughest to hit. There will be a couple of those in there. Yeah. Numbers didn't vary too much. Not too bad, yeah. It's still pretty dark. That's a beauty, right? There we go. Yeah. So I want to look at launch angle here, big yeah. time. Nice. So looking at launch, 12 degrees at about 4,400 RPM. That's good because it's getting up and it's just staying there. It's not too high or not, particularly it's not too low, yeah. which is a really good thing. And sometimes those will drop off the planet. Yeah. So now let's compare that to the fly high. Okay. 134 ball speed. That's the number I want to look at too. All right. With the fly high, this is fun because it's shafted up and built a little bit different. It is a little bit longer. This has got a uh, graphite shaft yeah. in it, so a true hybrid shaft. Okay. That's got some height to it, yeah, too. That was, that was pretty good there. Instantly four miles an hour out of that. Interesting. Same swing. Same swing. Launch yeah. angle didn't change. Launch angle right at 11. Spin rate right at the same thing, 4,400. So he's quicker off the face pretty much. Instantly you got more speed and it never lost any height. No, no, it's good. And it didn't launch too high either. It wasn't like it's kind of, you know, when you mm -hmm. look down at something bigger, it looks, oh, this is just going to launch up in the air and get stuck in the wind. But no, it came out really good. Let's see one more. Nice. Good ball there. So that came out hot, 140 ball speed. Yeah. Really jump in. Again, 11.5, 4,400. Yeah. One thing that I love about these two options is your spin rate and your launch really haven't changed. It's just how far do you want it to go. Yeah. The 225 feels more like this is gonna be the extension to my iron set. This is my next one that's gonna go this same distance. The fly high, it just has ball speed. Yeah. So it's going out there further. So it's it's not really connecting to the club behind it, it's connecting to the club in front of it. It got a little bit of a firmer feel to it, but not anything crazy. You still got like a softness kind of sound to mm -hmm. it. It's just a little bit firmer and hotter off the face. And that's what's great is having these two options. Yeah. We'll see a lot of players who might put that as their longest iron, and then this is their next one working their way down. Yeah, I mean, I bet putting this as a two iron would be phenomenal off the tee, even into the green on the, some longer holes, just Absolutely. because you get that added forgiveness too. So in your bag right now, you carry a two and a three? So I kind of I kind of carry a three or a two depending on the course setup. Okay. So I go five, four, three or two. Okay. If I know that there's shorter par fives where I can hit a three iron on the green, I might play that, or if it's a tighter course, or if it's a windy day, I might put a two iron in instead. And that makes perfect sense where, to me, hearing that, the three iron is more, okay, I'm trying to attack with that one. Yeah. So the three iron might lend itself more towards the 225, where the two iron lends itself more towards the fly high. Makes sense. All right, I'm going to hit this one a little harder, see if we can get some distance out of it. What a ball flight there. Yeah, 
But you're right, it's high, but it doesn't spin up. Right, again, 4,400. We've yeah. seen your ball speed go up now with that one, even another three miles per hour, yeah. and your spin didn't change. No. So that's the beauty of the stability and what that fly high will do, is it's just how far do you want to hit it. Yeah, no doubt.